So alright, we're gonna do the head slab. I'm not gonna try to like cheese this and get like a really good armor. You can get a really good armor before doing this and all you have to do is just kill those bombardiers. Uh, how many did I get from that one bombardier? Three. So that's exactly enough to do a thing. If there's three at base, I'm pretty sure there's three at base, but if there's not three at base, then we're fucked. Anyway, so how we do this is we have to climb all the way up this tree, all the way to the very tip top of the tree, and we've already gotten halfway, so we can do this, but first I'm going to trip the shop. I'll take that. There you go, get some pebble foundation. That basically means we can use pebbles as flooring. I like that because you can make like a nice little front yard kind of looking thing. So it's kind of nice. So let's follow this. This will lead us. You bitch! It lagged. <laughs> the lag. He never told me science could be this exciting. Fuck that, bro. That was not nice. It lagged on me. And right, we got the tropical punch. That's nice. I'm fucking walking up this bitch. Fuck you. Pull out the bow. These should stay here for a bit. At least they should. That's hitting the leaf, I guess. That's a couple. You fucking... I hate this. <laughs> I hate this fucking hedge, man. <laughs> I hate that hedge so much. I might as well grab him now. Now that I'm fucking back at the bottom. <laughs> I hate the hedge, bro. Fucking, I hate this whole, like, sector. This is the worst lab out of all of them. The best lab is the one up ahead, and I like that lab. This lab fucking sucks. Because you have to fucking traverse that. That's stupid. And one of the things that would make this lab so much easier is locked behind the lab. So you can't fucking get it until you beat the fucking lab. It's like, uh... They done goofed. They should have put meat shield behind this lab and not the other mod that I like. I love this backpack. The modification that I like is so much better. We're gonna grab all these berry chunks because this is exactly what we need to make an armor that I want. And I'm pretty sure that's all of them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright, so the reason why we need that is so we can make berry leather, but the only way to make berry leather is to research into bombardier beetle parts and make the uh, drying rack. So let's go do that right now, because we can do that. We're right next to the station. That's why I went in there, not to spend science points. I'm stupid. Here you go. Might as well research into these. There you go. So, uh... What we can do now is we can make a drying rack which allows us to get berry leather for one berry chunk each instead of using three to make one leather. So we can actually get this uh, headpiece, we can get the chest piece, and we can get the leggings. And that's the armor that I used to beat this game because I did not know how to get the other stuff that I needed because this game does not explain anything. So I blame the game for not having epic armor at the end of the game. I call it the end of the game. It's not truly the end of the game. There's something after that, but like, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. This is awesome! Oh yeah, we've been in there, so we're good. We gotta go this way. So I'm gonna not get berry chunks because I have just enough to make what I want. I just uh, have to. I hate you. Hey, and you make me live, so I have to fuck. God damn you. So I have to walk back anyway. I actually messed a berry, okay. I'll just fucking edit. It's fine. I'm a little pissed, but you know. That's what happens when you take the wrong path. You're supposed to take this one. I like taking the top one because. I don't know, I'm stupid. <laughs> it's faster, I guess. Fucking, I don't know. <laughs> Right here. There you go. Yeah, I'm about to say. You can kill these sacks, and when you do that, it's a little baby spider. And there you go. Cute in a, in a baby sort of 
away. Yeah! Scary baby! There you go. Are you gonna die? There you go. So as you saw there, I actually got a ladybug head. This is how you get a lot of the uh, supplies that you need to craft things. So if you need an insect axe, you can just break these. And if you're feeling lucky, you might get what you need. With like a bombardier part. Fucker. Okay. Anyway, so that's how you get a lot of the good parts, is you can just break these. There you go. Oh, don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare, bitch. fell down again, I'm about to be pissed. <laughs> so I got even more bombardier beetle parts. Let's go this way. So these guys are glitching. And right here, I never noticed this on my first time around. Grab these. I didn't notice this on my first time around, but this allows you to essentially get here faster instead of like falling all the way down you can actually fall right here but there is one little problem with that uh respawn if you fall down you still gotta go get your bag so i don't know what they're thinking so long, i have felt taunted by the spiders of the yard climbing crawling skittering with the greatest of ease oh and how they delight in violating my workspace I can't take a single step without getting stuck in their confounded webbing. I'm wasting daylight, running, climbing, surviving, traversing this broken lab, the entire yard for that matter, has become untenable. But perhaps my spider friend will hold the key to my problem. So as he was saying there, the spiders hold the key to his problem. For those that don't know, a lot of spider silk is incredibly strong. Basically, it can basically be better than Yo, fiber steel. That's a new Flingman Quasar X. Bet I could spin that sucker all the way to Miss Marlowe's yard. Yeah, I bet. Anyway, Supreme. This is actually one of my favorite uh, scabbies, just because everything's all purple. I like purple. Hi, bitch. Make sure we get all of them because this is actually a really good area to get uh, fiber. You can actually get a ton of fiber here. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do. Let me eat this. Thank you. Thank you. Any more? Because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure there's not that many. Barbarian. There you go. So we can actually go over here and we can turn on barbarian. And we'll turn on this one, because I like this one. So we have Hardy right here, and then we got the other mutation. Yeah. And that's for killing spiders. There you go. Make sure you have the correct one. There you go. So what Barbarian does, you actually get a... Oh god, oh. That was lag. You get a nice modifier that allows you to deal more damage, so you can actually beat the ever-loving shit out of the enemy at a small catch. The small catch being, you can't block anymore. <laughs> and barbarians are not supposed to block like I did with the wolf spider. I just essentially blocked sometimes, but I mostly just heal. There you go. So you can just heal off the damage you take, and then you can just use uh, your skill in combat. There was no items in there. More little spider. I 
hate these little fuckers because they're hard to hit. <laughs> That's why I like using the club. I can just hit multiple. And a lot of fucking. There you go. That's the last one. This one I actually like. So we can actually use this, and we can use this. So what that does is it allows you to regenerate uh, stamina faster. So you can essentially just do this, and then you can just block, and it'll just regenerate really quickly. That cardio fan is probably my favorite mutation with Barbarian, because you use up a ton of stamina if you use heavy armor. Heavy armor basically uh, makes it to where swinging takes a lot more energy than necessary. Alright, we didn't have enough footage and also my recorder stopped recording because I ran out of space on my hard drive. Because these things, these uh, Camtasia recordings are about 30 gigs per hour. <clears throat> Not even that, it's probably like 30 gigs per like 40 minutes. Maybe. But basically, every time I record an hour, I get a massive, like, file that I have to edit. Because what it does is it tries to make it, like, super high quality. So we have to, like, make sure that we don't record for too long. But anyway, we didn't have enough footage, so what I'm gonna do... Oh boy, man. I have a ton of supplies. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spend five minutes to get to the lab itself. <laughs> If only chemistry and we're class gonna end it there. Easy. So over here, this is actually kind of special. Uh, this is a very big area right here. Da da! Look at this. Now I could not figure this place out for a long time. I know how to do it now, but I basically came to this spot, looked around, didn't see anything important, came up to here, and it was like, brood mother BLT. So how do we get this thing? Well, it's hidden, and I will show you how to get it. But just know that this is here. And we're going to be doing this fight someday. But for right now, Broodmother is going to be on the sidelines. But just know, let's buy this frisbee. So this is actually kind of a really cool boss arena. I kind of wish it was easier to get to. Like if there was like a way to like knock down a... Uh, Oh, whatchamacallit, like some sort of like walkway up, that would be kind of nice. Or maybe some other way, besides me putting ladders, because that's the main way I get up here is putting down ladders. What the fuck was that? Crow? Hmm. Anyway. So we came all the way up here, and then you go over here. This is awesome! And now we are almost in the lab. Some of those little spiders over <laughs> Today, Trudy asked, uh, or rather insisted, I take a break from my work for a family day. I'll admit the argument that preceded my reluctant agreement was one for the ages. She just doesn't understand how important the work is. But in the <laughs> end, all was not lost. As fate would have it, our little trip to Storm and Beach's Wave Park has given me fresh inspiration. Hmm. A particular attraction sported a zip line over an undulating pool filled with sun-baked tubers. Basking in the light of the cruel sun that baked them like red, red raisins. <laughs> but I digress. It was the zip line that captured my imagination such an elegant solution to my problems in the hedge. When we got home, it was straight back to work. After another argument, of course. So now we're in the hedge lab, but obviously we have too much shit. We have so much silk, and I don't recommend getting rid of all the silk. It's actually pretty important. But what we will do, so you'll go this way. So over here, there's raw science indicating that there is something important over here because raw science usually points something out. So let's go up here and down this way. So right along over here, 
there's some weird mushrooms that looks like a little stippy step going up. So we can actually do that and figure out that there is a little hidden area. I never found this on my first attempt, nor my other attempts at the lab. I did do this multiple times, but I've never found this, and I feel like the game developers need to make this a little more obvious, because this is probably like the best thing you can find. I don't know about this scabby though. Hang on, let me make it the nighttime mode. There you go. It's this color, which is pretty okay. No interest. Some interest, but not enough to lure her from her lair. No interests. The odor is horrific, nearly visible, yet it seems to appeal to her. Perhaps it is clean with ladybug meat? Uh, success. The noxious uh, odor of the broodmother could not resist the bait. That said, having been seeing her up close, perhaps I should continue to study her from a distance, at least for the time being. That is how you get the broodmother BLT. I never figured that out. I had to fucking look that up. Because after beating the game, uh, ugh, I never figured out how I could get to the broodmother. I knew she was a boss because of the trailers. I knew she existed. But I couldn't figure out where. Where uh, where do you fucking get the BLT? So I had to like fucking look it up. And it was like, oh, it's right over here, dude. Fucking hidden in the foreground where you couldn't see it. So I'm gonna go back to base. I need to repair this weapon right here. And uh, I need to uh, get some supplies. Also, like, does this go down at all? Stand on the edge, maybe? Nope. That was a good attempt. Grab my shit. So now my sprig is completely gone, so I have to repair it from the base up. That's fun. So I'm gonna go back to base. I'm gonna repair this thing. I'm gonna end the episode here because obviously uh, this is just filler to fill out the episode. So. Ooh.